Last week, I challenged you to model this shape, and you all smashed it out of the park. Here's how I'd approach it using two different methods. Start with a cube, subdivide it three times to a quad sphere, apply the subdiv, then you use Alt, Shift and S to spherize and cut away three quarters of the mesh. Scale along the X and Y axes to shape it, then using the 3D cursor as the pivot, scale the outer edges to form the brim. Repeat the scaling to add depth to the interior. Add creases to the edges, smack on a subdiv modifier, and that's method one. Alternatively, bring in a circle with 32 verts, cut it in half, duplicate and rotate negative negative 90 degrees on the x-axis, then scale for the desired shape. Join the meshes and dissolve any overlapping verts. Connect the centermost verts with an edge, subdivider, and set the smoothness close to 1. Next, connect the topmost verts with an edge, select the perimeter of the shape minus the centermost vert, duplicate and separate by selection. Cut in extra verts along the top edge, then grid fill. Join it back with the original mesh, clearing any overlapping verts, then fill in a big nasty end gone at the top. Duplicate the whole mesh and slap on a subdiv modifier to one copy. Add a shrink wrap modifier to the unsubdivided mesh and set it to target the subdivided one. Cut in the remaining edges to convert the end gone to quads, space out the vertical edges, select the outer edges, invert the selection, and using Control-V, smooth the verts with 100 repeats to magically fix your topology. Finally, relax the horizontal edges to get rid of that bump in the middle, and extrude the brim detail just like in method 1. Which approach do you prefer? Let me know in the comments.